How's it going? So this one is a very, very cool matchup. I'll show you. Uh, well, not matchup, but I mean, the way he played. I'll remember I was saying that, you know, Rengar really has no way to win because even if he takes the first three minion waves, he has no way to survive me diving him past level six. All right, so this game really demonstrates this. This guy is gold level. I think he's like gold platinum. So let's have a look. So you see he went all in for the one shot. And that's what normally they do. They just go for one shot build, right? So you see like his items, he just went for a lot of AD. He's just trying to basically one shot me. That's what he's trying to do. So naturally, what do we do against the Rengar? We just chill. So you'll see we're going to be doing the same strategy. We're just going to chill. So now the minion wave is going to start pushing into me. All right. I'm going to hit level 6. He got... So now I get full fury, I just gonna win, right? So he runs away. It's fine for me. Now you see? So at this point, look at the CS difference, right? Now realistically he could go for 65 CS win because I have 65 CS win condition, but the problem is the problem is he has no way of stopping me from just killing him in here. And now he just cannot approach the minion wave. Now, honestly, I can take down the turret in here as well. But but you'll see, I'm, I, I make a small mistake. But overall, you'll see, like, it's just, it's, it's unplayable for Rengar. Because you see, he can't approach the minion wave anymore. And I'm slowly catching up now. See, because you have to factor in, Rengar is a very squishy champion, right? He's only good level, like, up to level 5. Well, up to level 4. Past the point, he's just so bad, like, I mean, What is he going to do now? Right? He has, like, no... No way to win, I mean. Like, in here, I could have just taken the turret from this time. But you see how much damage he's taking. And you have to factor in, he splashes down, my ghost is coming up. And I'm immortal. I made a mistake in here, you see I could have just went for the turret and that's it, he would have lost. Because you see, past this point, past this point, he really has no, like, he has no wave clear, right? So I can just clear the minions and just start smacking the turret. If he starts attacking me, my minions are gonna do so much damage to him, it's gonna be insane. And again, my ghost is coming up, do you know what I mean? So, I mean, like, there's no way for him to do anything. This was kind of, I did not intend to attack him, I just wanted to maybe get the thingy first. But I think his ball line caused me to attack, attack him, because... Ooh, I did not click on him. But I think as soon as he stuns you, you just uh, attack the closest target, so that's what happens. But you see, if I was just attacking the turret, this turret would have been dead by now. But you see like how much he's just so much weaker now. His options are just non-existent. So he wasted his bonus, so I went on. That's it. There's a lot of ways to win, honestly. I think the best way is just to destroy the turret, to be honest. That's the fastest way. Because if you just stand here, he will jump into you, and the minion waves is just gonna attack him and chunk him so hard, it's gonna be unplayable for him, right? And you can just wave clear yourself, and I mean, there's really not a lot of options for him. So, I mean, I, I don't know what he's going to do. And plus, you have to understand for, as a Trindamir, for 5 seconds, you can stand and hit the turret for free, doing like 100, like, look at that damage, 205. 
and the lower the lower your health goes the more damage you do so i mean this thing is like what seven hits and it's down do you know what i mean so i mean you can just take down the turret i think take care